What's wrong with him, Daddy? He must have eaten Trotsky for breakfast. Slivers, what are you doing up here? You running out here dead or something? Dead ain't gonna like this. You better spin Noxai before I tell him what's what. Yeah, fuck. Stick out your blow hole. Uh, Sunder Shuttle, okay. The brain train to Sunder? First of all, you certainly aren't getting look, looking like that. Sunder's apparently the most brilliant scholars and scientists in the universe to offer. You're not exactly dressed like a genius. Second of all, credentials from the Scientific Association are required in order to get. Oh. Sorry to jump to conclusions, but I doubt you have the necessary references. Third, there's a ticket taker beyond the security door. Since all flights this month are sold out and booked, getting on board seems extremely remote. Ah, really? Fuck it, hell. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Son of Man Geek. That's awesome. Seems more like a receiver station at the moment, but. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just screw it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much how I feel at the moment. I don't, I'm not for borders. I'm just saying, at the moment, we really need to dismantle the other things that make having a borderless system a lot more difficult. You know. But yeah, please hurry, indeed. Uh, ooh. Lastly, you'll have to face the infamous Brain Bouncer. What? He makes sure you really have the smarts it takes for Sunder by asking you a series of very difficult questions. If you can't answer them, you aren't... you ain't going. Holy crap! That's a lot of requirements to go to that planet. That is a lot of requirements. Fire to your counter, but the guy said there's no tickets available, so we're a bit fucked there. Get past security door. Uh, look more like scientists. Get past the brain bounce. Oh, there we go. Got that security card. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Press any key. Yeah. Oh no god, this bloody John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> right, so I can't go that way, I can go this way though. Oh shit. There we go. Ha 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 ha! Center Station Theoretical Science Museum. TSM database. Yep. Unbelievable botany. <laughs> Alien archaeology, staggering statistics, computer conundrums, scientific original, organization chaos theory, chemistry coops. More than neat rocks. I love that geology. More than neat rocks. <laughs> Benefactors, uh, Agron K, X star, uh, and M. Benefactors, A, up, G, Ali B, Amble, W, da, 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 da. All these names mean nothing to me, but I'm sure it'll unlock and tell me who it is I've looked at. That might be helpful. Founders, found in 2697 by two individuals with sight and vision. Uh, colleagues of their blah blah blah. Well, the first colony and so on. New exhibits. 
proud to show off with some of the most amazing short inventions of the past few hundred years. Anti-gravity ring. Far beyond common minor field repulsion, the Grand Tanta experiment tr slash tragedy <laughs> on Digmachus is shielded in secrecy. Yet a city floats in the sky, a true example of actual large-scale anti-gravity. Inertial dampening, while the nature of the radiation shield is well known, the problem of the inertial dampening was thought to be unsolvable. No one took that to Garben Fizzisoko, who invented it as a solution for a railgun-based amusement park ride. <laughs> a rail... A railgun based amusement park ride. <laughs> okay. Protechion Transceiver. By far the oldest piece in our collection, the first instantaneous radio was a landmark of science, although impractical for large scale commercial communication beyond the system level. Hmm. Tachyon Decay Detector. This revolutionary and radical device could detect the negative age of particles i.e. how far in the future was their origin point. See next month's display, Miss Tech Mayhem, for the story of the inventor. Da -da 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 -da. Come and join us, the wonder. Okay. You can see my hours, uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Monday through Saturday, close on Sundays. I don't know the entire science database. I got the scientific credentials and I'm smarter than you now. <laughs> I like how you just rubbed that in there. And I'm smarter than you. He can, he won't know. You promise? I promise. Where is he? At the hotel. Does he suspect? Why would he? He can never know. He will never know. Do you love me? Hey, do you mind? <laughs> I'm sorry, it just seemed too, too juicy to give up. <laughs> okay, so we've got the scientific credentials. We need the tickets now. What the hell? Back in time. Oh, that attack you on decay. Yeah, I realized my bloody issue. There we go. Now we've got the clothing we need. Yes. Tighten your belt, sunshine. We got a bird to catch. <laughs> Here we go, let's look at this team. <laughs> what the hell does he look like? Oh, good lord. <laughs> I mean, he looks kind of badass for him. <laughs> Do they have to give him a mustache as well? <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> oh god, that was too much. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, of commerce. Ooh, a taco. Hey, step that away for my taco. Death wish. Oh, since my husband died, he had a brilliant mind. I miss this genius. No one could ever replace him, but sometimes I wish I could meet someone special. This guy's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, I'm just no daydream, don't mind me. Dr. Brewell. 
I've got to take over the next brain train to Sunder. There's very important work there to be done. I just wish I could concentrate. Those miners began and it got me thinking. I have three Einstein Awards in Cyber Dimensional Science. I have completed the formula for cybernetic superconditioning. I've discovered 12 different circuit fusion particles and they're named after me. But will I ever discover love? Oh, here we go. Time to play matchmaker. Ooh. There's a rose there. <laughs> I can see how we're going to play matchmaker now. I'll go back to her, give her the rose. If this works, then I'll start the stream, Raiders. And then uh, end it for tonight. And it'll be my 93 boss, 93rd boss kill. Assuming I win, of course. Right, uh, ta da! Sorry, buddy, you're good, but I need to give you this rose. They don't get too excited, it's not from me, it's from a sharp looking gent staying down at the bottom of the penthouse suite. His name's Dr. Brywell. If you want to think, thank him in person, but you better hurry, he's leaving for Sunder soon. I need Dr. from Sunder at the penthouse suites? Really? I think I'll thank him in person, excuse me. Haha. <laughs> Is he not responding or? Yeah, do I do that Sunder and Select? I've further research to do it. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they've got further research to perform together. <laughs> All right, let me get that back to that pub, and I'll save it, and then I'll. Uh... Do you think someone's gonna ban them from doing what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can. I can agree. I wouldn't say people dream of labour, but uh, I wouldn't say people dream of labour. It's more that uh, they are so used to how things are. But also, I think some people like to do something to be active. Like the reason, the reason why I got uh, oh shit, that's the wrong place, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> yeah, whoops, wrong place. Anyway, uh, right. Let's find uh, someone to raid on. Uh, 